tournament. Pierre, baseline J, got hit. Langevin wins it. Pierre, barking for the call. Numbers for the Rams. alley -oop, drop it! Martin is doing that dirty work to keep Rhode Island in this. There's three assists to go along with those three rebounds. There he is again. To Tuckman, who jams him. Great college basketball coach at Buffalo. She's having to have the bye week, so had a home game for her. Going to watch him in person. Yeah, Jack has the ability to be a great scorer. You know, every time he scored 20, George Washington certainly said that has not made a collegiate three yet, though. And the inbound to Fats. Here we go. Final possession for URI. Nickel State will get the ball back with five seconds left if they took it down to the final. Oh, Molly! And his Fordham for this early four-point lead. Russell shakes Cobb. Now it's Toppin driving and pulling and hit. Offense. Mays couldn't get the left-hand runner to go. Now numbers for the Rams. Russell to Toppin. For that this year, I think. I mean, he's, he's only going to get better and better. And there he goes again. A quick operations. You don't see that very often either. Tate's right wing jumper is missed, but that's how you fall. <laughs> and gave them a, a good lift after that technical Whoa, foul. Oh, what a leaping dunk for Toppin. Three. And they've turned it over 12 times. Coach Oates was saying earlier that he wanted to stick the turnovers to 12 for the game. We got seven minutes to go in the first half and we had 12 already. Take the top and wide open Brady Rattle. Ashley's a senior. It was a great pickup. It was a grad transfer from Maine where he was a four-year letter winner in Maine. A bunch of guys sitting out his transfers. And ready to restock the talent pool with young. <laughs> or Baptiste if he's in there. So it's a little bit different possession on offense for the Minutemen now. See what Rhode Island will do here is Russell getting into the lane. Dumps it off the top end. Top end, a nice finish. Inbounded to Harris. He'll hand off to Down. In the corner, top end three-pointer, and the freshman hits. Wow. And Brown had a three from beyond the arc, and now the bucketing foul for three more to give him six in the game. Ten-point contest again. Top it, puts it on the deck, scores it himself. Those were those were wins that are so hard to come by, especially at the Siegel Center. Take care of business there. You're in good shape moving forward. Top. Just the fifth team foul on Fordham now. Shot clock reset to 20. Cologne lost his footing. Long for Doughton. He gets to the baseline and gets the bucket. Can't come up with that one. Doughton floater. I was expecting more of an inside guy with him. And Toppin follow. <laughs> Martin thinking three. He can't finish. Topping with an offensive rebound, a put back that rolls through. Gives other guys an opportunity, so then when he is back, as you see the beautiful tip by Top. Here's Harris and has it blocked from behind, but right there is Toppin, the freshman with it. Up by six, Long looking for his first bucket. Good release, no good in that one. Holy moly! Turning all their starting five this year. Looking for depth as Topin. Right post, right session leading into the half. Doughton throws it up. He can't finish. This one's nicked away. Into the hands of Topin. Right place, right. Most of them have come from Langevin. Russell, that one dropped out. And guess who? Jacob Topin. In front of them, and then we can double team. Collins has six assists for St. Louis as Toppin squares up hits. 
pull up for Jacob Toppin. That rattles in. By Bates Jones, bad angle pass tipped against the grain of the lane, and the Rams have it. Jacob Toppin pulling up in transition. It's sweet. Well, that's a great play by Landry. He's got three fouls, but he's one of the best shot blockers on this team. Well, Russell, what a kick. Toppin wide open. A better three, and he drains it. On five has not been good the last four or five minutes. Time for Fats to take over. Toppin a deep three. <laughs> drains it. Four over Rhode Island. You know, Bama's crawled their way back into this game. But the 53 points they have, almost 40 of them have come inside the paint. It's usually been the flip side. Fats, top of three. Second three of the game. In their next game, November, or rather December 21st, against Western Kentucky. And he adds a lot of a land you mind like toughness down low, and he's chomping at the bit to play. About a minute 10 left to go here in the first half. Walker with a kick out. Top in with a three, and he hits. And the other. Mason is having some success guarding Rhode Island, but they can really not score against Rhode Island on the other end. They're going to have to find some answers for scoring the ball. And Rhode Island, plenty of... percent from the free throw line under five minutes in games anytime he's at the free throw line with less than five minutes is 90 percent david cox isn't going to like falling asleep a little bit on defense against the wrong guy in ty flowers 12 minutes, just under that left to go in the second half. Hammond feeds it to Toppin, Toppin underneath, and floats it through. A little sluggish. They have to hear Coach Cox's voice in their ear at the start of each half. That nagging voice with the coach calling at you to do all the little things, they have to make sure they do that the second half of this game. Inside there is Jacob Toppin. And dribble. Downton had the mismatch. Three, and they've turned it over 12 times. Coach Oates was saying earlier that he wanted to stick the turnovers to 12 for the game. We got seven minutes to go in the first half, and we had 12 already. Jacob Toppin, wide open, three, and 